Tesla has led the way in lithium batteries, but now a new plastic battery is challenging that position. The polyjoule battery can be charged up to 12,000 cycles six times more than Tesla's 4,680 battery and can discharge one megawatt in just 10 seconds. Made from up to 99% recycled plastic, this battery is both lighter and more environmentally friendly. How will this new battery replace lithium batteries in the future, to the point that even Tesla must pay attention? Before we begin, please help us reach 8,200 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Model Q, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How do plastic batteries work? The technology behind Polyjewel, a name increasingly mentioned as a breakthrough in energy storage, deserves close attention. To understand why Polyjewel holds such potential, we first need to grasp how batteries work. Essentially, a battery is a device that converts chemical energy into electrical energy. It consists of two electrodes, a positive electrode cathode and a negative electrode anode separated by an electrolyte. When connected to an electrical circuit, electrons flow from the anode through the load to the cathode, creating an electric current. Battery performance depends on three main factors, power density, energy density, and capacity. Power density indicates the rate of electricity delivery. Energy density reflects the amount of energy stored per unit volume or weight, and capacity represents the total amount of electricity the battery can hold. Common batteries today, like lithium-ion batteries, typically use metals for electrodes. This helps achieve high performance but brings several issues. High cost, heavy weight, fire risks, and environmental pollution. Moreover, their performance gradually degrades after several charge-discharge cycles. Polyjewel takes a completely different approach, replacing metals with electrically conductive polymers or simply plastics. Plastics offer clear advantages. They are lighter, cheaper, non-toxic, and chemically very stable. Thus, polyjewel batteries can transmit electricity quickly while ensuring high safety and durability. Although metal-free, these batteries still maintain impressive energy densities, opening great opportunities for large-scale energy storage systems in the future. This is why polyjewel is attracting attention as a smarter and more sustainable alternative in the post-fossil fuel world. Typically, plastics are polymers, meaning their structure consists of long chains of repeating small units called monomers. These monomers mainly comprise carbon atoms combined with other atoms like hydrogen, oxygen, or nitrogen. Because of this structure, pure plastics are usually insulators. They do not conduct electricity. However, when mixed with certain elements or compounds capable of donating or accepting electrons, Plastics can be transformed into conductive materials. This doping process generates charge carriers such as free electrons or holes, allowing electric current to move along the polymer chains. This results in two types of conductive polymers, P-type with holes and N-type with electrons. By joining these two types together, polymer diodes can be created devices that allow current to flow in only one direction. Using many such diodes, people can make plastic solar cells the foundation for polymer-based batteries in the future. Polyjewel exemplifies the application of conductive polymers in energy storage technology. Instead of using metals for electrodes like traditional batteries, Polyjewel employs different types of conductive polymers. The basic structure of the battery includes two polymer electrodes placed opposite each other and separated by an electrolyte layer. Each electrode is made from a different polymer to optimize performance. The positive electrode often uses polymers with strong electron affinity, but low ion affinity such as poly 3 hexyl thiophene, abbreviated as P3HT. The negative electrode anode uses polymers with high ion affinity, but low electron affinity, like polyethylene oxide PEO. Between the two electrodes is a polymer electrolyte such as polyethylene glycol, which conducts ions but not electrons and usually contains salts that can dissociate in water, facilitating ion transport between the electrodes. During charging, an external voltage causes electrons to move from the anode to the cathode through the external circuit, while ions from the electrolyte move into the electrodes to neutralize charges. This process makes the anode more positive and the cathode more negative. When discharging, the chemical reactions reverse, 
electrons flow back from the cathode to the anode through the electrical device, like a phone or laptop, generating usable current. Ions in the electrodes also return to the electrolyte, restoring the system to its original state and preparing it for the next cycle. A key difference between polyjoule batteries and traditional metal-based batteries lies in energy performance, safety, and weight. With an energy density that can reach up to 1,000 watt-hours per kilogram four times higher than the approximately 250 watt-hours per kilogram of current lithium-ion batteries, polyjoule allows for much greater energy storage in the same weight. Thanks to its lightweight and non-flammable materials, this technology is not only suitable for personal electronic devices, but also holds great promise for large energy systems and electric vehicles, fields that demand batteries that are efficient, safe, and durable. Once again, please help us reach 8,200 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. What is the actual cost of the Polyjoule plastic battery? Despite many advantages in safety and durability, one current limitation of polyjoule is its relatively low energy density, only about 60 watt-hours per kilogram, nearly five times lower than the lithium-4680 battery. However, this results in a significant weight reduction. While each 4680 cell weighs around 355 grams, a polyjoule battery weighs only about 71 grams, just one-fifth of the weight. In terms of cost, this is a notable strength. Currently, polyjoule batteries are priced at approximately 65 US dollars per kilowatt hour, less than half the price of the 4680 battery, and much cheaper than the average 132 US dollars per kilowatt hour. Cost of widely used lithium ion batteries on the market. If in the future the price can drop below 20 USD per kilowatt hour as experts expect, this would be a true revolution in energy storage, especially since this battery can be recycled up to 99% and has a lifespan of up to 30,000 cycles, equivalent to nearly 100 years of use. To put it simply, at the current price of 65 US dollars per kilowatt hour, users only need about 325 US dollars to own 5 kilowatt hours, enough to power an entire house. 6,500 US dollars, one can build a 20 kilowatt hour storage system that provides continuous power for nearly a whole day. If these figures are accurate, Polyjoule offers an attractive solution for home energy storage affordable, safe, and efficient. Technically, Polyjoule uses electrodes made from conductive polymers, a special class of organic compounds that contain no metals but still conduct electricity thanks to carbon chain structures with alternating single and double bonds, allowing electrons to move smoothly along the molecular backbone. This factor makes the battery lightweight, durable, and environmentally friendly while maintaining high electrical transmission efficiency. Polyjoule's unique technology also lies in its entirely new electrochemical design. The battery uses two standard electrodes combined with conductive polymers and a non-flammable liquid electrolyte, blended from carbon and graphene. Its operation is based on the movement of ions between the two electrodes during charging and discharging. When charging, charged ions are stored in the electrode through an oxidation reaction. When discharging, they are released back via a reduction process. This mechanism is similar to what students learn in chemistry, but has been upgraded and applied on an industrial scale using much more advanced materials. Currently, the first customer using polyjoule batteries is an energy company specializing in distributed systems. At the end of last year, this company installed the world's first industrial organic battery system at a dairy farm owned by the Fonterra Group near Hamilton, New Zealand. The system has operated continuously for 10 months to supply power for the milk processing warehouse. Fonterra plans to move this system to another location that frequently experiences power outages due to unstable supply. Thanks to Polyjoule's ultra-fast discharge rate, the battery helps maintain continuous operations, minimizing production downtime. Not stopping there, Polyjoule's super-fast charging capability opens potential integration into electric vehicle fleets, such as Fonterra's milk delivery trucks. Besides businesses, 
New Zealand's residents can also benefit from this technology. When polyjoule energy storage systems are widely deployed on the national grid, wholesale electricity costs could be significantly reduced thanks to more efficient energy regulation. This is the future of energy storage, a solution that is sustainable, cost-effective, and safe for both businesses and households. What are the benefits of this new type of battery? Polyjoule is a promising battery technology with many advantages over traditional metal-based batteries. First of all, the production cost of polyjoule batteries is much lower, allowing for easier scaling and wider accessibility. Specifically, the cost can be as low as $10 per kilowatt hour, while lithium-ion batteries typically cost up to $100 for the same energy capacity. In addition, polyjoule stands out with its high safety, as it does not pose the risk of catching fire like lithium-ion batteries, which can ignite at temperatures above 60 degrees Celsius. Polyjoule batteries remain stable and safe while operating in a wide temperature range from negative 40 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius without safety risks. From an environmental perspective, Polyjoule clearly demonstrates sustainability by using plastic materials that are recyclable or biodegradable, helping to reduce toxic waste. In contrast, lithium-ion batteries often contain heavy metals such as cobalt and nickel that can pollute the environment and negatively affect human health. Thanks to these advantages, Polyjoule is not just a replacement battery, but a significant step forward in providing more powerful, cheaper, safer, and environmentally friendly energy sources. It has wide potential applications, from phones, laptops, electric vehicles, to home energy systems, while also contributing to reducing dependence on fossil fuels and supporting the fight against climate change. However, the polyjoule technology still faces some considerable challenges. The first issue is scalability. Although polyjoule batteries can be easily produced on a small scale, transitioning to mass production requires optimizing and standardizing processes to ensure stable quality and performance. Additionally, Supply chains and distribution systems need to be developed and expanded to meet the growing market demand. Another obstacle is performance. Although polyjoule batteries have high energy density, their energy conversion and power delivery efficiency are still limited, especially since the voltage and output current are generally lower than those of existing metal-based batteries. Similarly, the energy conversion efficiency of polyjoule solar panels is also inferior to traditional silicon solar panels. This calls for continued research to improve materials, electrode designs, and electrolytes to enhance overall efficiency. Why is Elon Musk particularly interested in advancing plastic battery technology? The industry and the original idea actually existed before Tesla even considered energy storage. Tesla's success comes from doing what is right for the environment and benefiting consumers. However, the materials needed for batteries remain a controversial issue. There have even been accusations of mistreatment of indigenous people near a lithium mine in Argentina. If this plastic battery technology proves to be highly feasible, Musk might get involved in the project. The idea of using plastic-based batteries for power wall and energy packs is quite appealing. Tesla has already started using lithium iron phosphate LFP cells in its Megapack energy storage systems at the grid scale. Nowadays, conventional lithium ion grid storage typically supplies power for about four hours. Meanwhile, Polyjoule's plastic batteries can store energy for much longer. During testing, they retained 92% of their capacity over approximately 20 hours. If this is accurate, it would represent a significant breakthrough. Another major issue when inventing a new type of battery is how recyclable and environmentally friendly it can be. Polyjoule's batteries are said to be fully recyclable and eco-friendly. The polymers can be easily synthesized from basic chemicals and renewable sources, reducing costs and eliminating the need for environmentally harmful mining. Moreover, recycling or end-of-life disposal is simpler because these polymers can just be incinerated with regular waste without requiring special treatment. Related to this, Elon Musk mentioned that the 4,680 structured cells used in Model Y units produced in Texas are actually recyclable. Unlike fossil fuels that emit toxic gases into the atmosphere and cannot be recovered for reuse, Tesla's lithium-ion batteries can be recovered and recycled. 
The refined battery materials are incorporated into the cells and remain inside them until their end of life at which point they can be recycled to recover valuable materials for reuse. So, what do you think about plastic batteries? Do you believe Elon will develop this type of battery in the future? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.